Hi everyone, welcome to the Swing Museum podcast. I'm your host, Jan Everly, and this is the first time we're actually doing this via video, thanks to my husband, who's the cameraman. And I'm happy to see you again. It's been about six months since I've done a really good podcast, so I wanted to keep you up to date on what's been happening in our world. Um, for those of you who may be seeing the podcast for the first time, I am an artist. I am a retired big band singer, as well as a four-time author. I belong to the organizations of the National League of American Pen Women, the Bradenton Kiwanis, and the Pops Orchestra. And you'll see a little bit of each one of these things this evening. But first, I'd like to feature my dad, the late Ray Eberly, who made history with the Glenn Miller Orchestra during the jazz era. Take a listen. Responsible, call me unreliable, throw in undependable too. Do my foolish alibis for you? Well, I'm not too clever, I just adore you. Call me unpredictable, tell me I'm impractical, rainbows I'm inclined to pursue. love that song, a song titled, Call Me Irresponsible. Well, I'd like to go back to July of 2019. My husband and I were at a Bradenton Kiwanis meeting, as we are pretty much every week, and it was during the summer. 
well as what happens with a lot of school children during the summers is they are involved in what now has become the latest craze, which we call camps. Well, this particular camp was taking place right in the building where we have our Kiwanis meeting, which is the Manatee Players Playhouse. Unbeknownst to us, during the lunch, we had a group of very talented young kids who were looking to study dance and music and some acting as well. They had only started a week or two prior, so they were still in the works, but they surprised us with a really wonderful impromptu show. This from The Music Man. Take a watch. Johnny, Willie, Teddy, Fred, and you'll see the glitter of crashing cymbals, and you'll hear the thunder of rolling drums, the shimmer of trumpets, dun -ra! and you'll feel something akin to the electric drill I once enjoyed when Gilmore, Liberati, Pat Conway, W.C. Handy, the great creator, and John Philip Sousa all came to sound on the very same historic day. 76 trombones led the big parade with 110 cornets close at hand. They were followed by rows and rows of the finest virtuosos, the cream of every famous band. 76 trombones caught the morning sun with 110 cornets right behind. There were more than a thousand reeds springing up like weeds. There were hordes of every shape and kind. There were copper bottom timpani and horse platoons. Thundering, thundering all along the way. Double bell euphoniums and big bassoons. Each bassoon having his big fat say. There were 50 mounted cannon in the battery. Thundering, thundering louder than before. Clarinets of every size and trumpeter soon improvise a full lock higher than the sword. Isn't that inspiring? Makes you want to send all the kids to the camps. And the great thing is, is they are working on something that they really want to do. They're there because they want to be. And how can you make kids any happier than that? I would like to move on to another video. Uh, this is from October of last year. I attended my first National League of American Pen Women um, biennial conference. Uh, at that conference, I was nominated to be a second vice president for the state, which I'm very pleased and uh, very humbled to have accepted. Uh, I met a lot of wonderful artists. Uh, we did a lot of great workshops. And I wanted to take the opportunity during the exhibition of the painters and the sculptors who had made their submissions for the state uh, nominations for the best of the state. I hope you enjoy this to some fantastic music. This is the Pen Women at Work.
So I think I mentioned earlier to you that my husband and I worked with the Pops Orchestra here in the Bradenton, Sarasota area. And it brings us so much joy because we are both musicians first and through and through. So we had an opportunity in February to go to the Sarasota National Cemetery, which is a beautiful location where they have an awesome shell almost of a place to seat the 64 piece orchestra. Uh, they played and represented President's Day, featuring all of the wonderful music that goes along with the pomp and circumstance of the day. We had a reenactor named Van Scott, Vane Scott, pardon me, that came in and told the origination of the flag. And for each uh, area of history, he actually had a flag to go along with that period. I really felt as though I was connected somehow to the country. Sometimes we feel that disconnect. Well, that certainly did it for me. So I'd like to bring you just a short snippet of the orchestra and a beautiful rendition of our national anthem. Hi, everyone. I'm Jan Eberly, your host of the Swing Museum podcast. Tune in by day to ksav.org to hear the best of old-time radio since, well, old-time radio. And check out their broadcast schedule where you can listen to a different hosted show every evening. How fabulous. But don't forget to check out my Swing Museum podcast archive page for the latest and greatest in my world, and the world of art. So tune in to ksav.org, your radio home on the web. to her face She almost makes the day begin I've grown accustomed to the tune She whistles night and noon Her smiles are frowns Her ups, her downs are second nature to me now Like breathing out Breathing in I was serenely independent And content before we met Surely I can always be that way again And yet I've grown accustomed to her looks Accustomed to her voice Accustomed to her face
she's a woman and so easy to forget Rather like a habit one can always break and yet I've grown accustomed to the trace of something in the air Accustomed to That was my favorite rendition of a song called I've Grown Accustomed to Her Face, featuring my dad. Well, I'd like to show you a photo collection of the most recent National League of American Pen Women Sarasota Pen Women Award show. If you can recall last year, I brought this to you. I believe it was our first podcast, and it enables the Manatee and Sarasota County High Schools to allow the students to come in and send in their applications either as artists meaning painters or sculptors or photographers as composers of music as well as uh, writers which it's uh, books or stories even poetry and this has been happening for the last 30 years this is the 2020 version so I'd like to bring it to you in a picture form so that you can see how wonderful all of the students looked even this close to this crisis that is happening now it came off without a hitch enjoy
Well, I thank you so much for joining me today for this March 2020 Swing Museum podcast. And I hope you've enjoyed, in part, at least a little bit of it. Um, I know I enjoyed watching the wonderful kids uh, showing their stuff uh, during the camp and, of course, the beautiful and reverent music out at the Sarasota National Cemetery along with two beautiful pen women displays. I'd like to leave you with something. It was funny. I heard this poem a couple of days ago on a commercial. And I thought I had heard it before, but it had been a long time since my college days. So I went in and looked it up, and it was Emily Dickinson. I'd like to leave you with this very, very short, and I mean short, <laughs> poem at the end here, along with um, a little bit of eye candy to take it in. So I hope you'll join me next time, right here, for the Swing Museum podcast. I'm your host, Jan Eberly. Take care. So long, everybody.